Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and today we're taking a look at a new budget Gen 4 NVMe drive from Crucial. This is their P3 Plus and today we've got their 500 gig version which comes with a five year warranty and in Australia right now only costs about $89. So today I'm gonna to get this out of the packet, put it in my own personal PC, run some benchmarks, see how it performs so I can let you guys know whether or not this is a drive that you maybe wanna consider getting for your next maybe laptop upgrade or PC upgrade or PC build so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to chuck it a like get subscribed and let's begin Now, before I jump into the benchmarks of this SSD, I quickly wanna take you through some of the specs. So the rated speed for the drive on the read is 4,700 megabytes per second, or roughly 4.7 gigabytes. And on the right, you're looking at about 1,900 megabytes or 1 1.9 gigabytes per second on the right. Now, you're only gonna get those speeds if you are putting it into a Gen 4 slot on your motherboard. If you do have a Gen 3 slot, it will still work. You might just get slightly less performance. Um, Capacity-wise, it does also come in a one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabyte option. If you need heaps and heaps of space, you've got those other options you can go for. Um, it's a Gen 4 drive with a Micron controller. It's a QLC SSD drive with five years of warranty. And the total write endurance is about 110 terabytes. So it will last you a long, 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 long time before this drive needs to be replaced or you know maybe upgraded with something else. Now, the other thing that's really cool is Crucial actually gives you some software called the Crucial Storage Executive, which you can download for free from their website and that will help you get firmware upgrades whenever they do come out for your drive. It will also give you some health information and you can also monitor things like the temperature as well, which is very cool. And on top of that, if you are coming from a different drive or you need to clone your operating system from one uh, from one drive to a Crucial drive, there is a Cronus for Crucial for free that you can download to help you through that process. So there's some of the specs and features. And as I mentioned before, in Australia right now, it only costs about $89. So overall, I think it is a very, very good value considering you're getting the latest Gen 4 speeds in a, I guess, budget form factor in a budget price category that everyone can sort of afford. So I think if you're looking to build a new PC and you're on a budget for a really fast boot drive and also a drive to store, you know, the games that you play most frequently, maybe like the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I think this would be a really good drive to consider getting. But maybe also if you're looking for a upgrade to a laptop that you might have that has a small SSD and you want to, you know, give that a bit of a boost, this could be a drive to check out because again, it's M.2. So as long as you've got an M.2 slot or maybe a Nook or a laptop or a desktop, this will be a good drive to check out. But I would suggest that only go for this drive if you do have a Gen 4 slot so you get the absolute most performance available to you from the drive. Now, in terms of my PC, it's running an AMD Ryzen 5900X with 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 3600 megahertz RAM. We've got the latest version of Windows 10, the latest BIOS, and the motherboard we're using is an ASUS ROG Strix B550A gaming motherboard, which does have a Gen 4 slot, so we can take advantage of all the performance that this drive can give. Now, the benchmarks we'll be running will be Atto Disk Mark, Crystal Disk Mark version 8, the latest version of PC Mark 10, and also 3D Mark running their storage test. But really, what we want to see is to make sure that, especially in Crystal Disk Mark, that this drive hits the rated read and write speeds that Crucial advertise on their website. Now, one thing I think is really cool from Crucial as well is the fact that they're celebrating 26 years in the industry and to I guess celebrate that milestone. For those of you living in Australia or New Zealand, they're running a competition between the 17th of October and the 8th of Jan 2023. And to enter, all you need to do is buy one of their eligible products, which I'll leave a link to, along with all of the terms and conditions on how to enter down in the video description. But their first prize is a 75 inch LG TV, second prize is a Bose Soundbar, third prize is an OLED Nintendo Switch. And they're also doing weekly giveaways where they're uh, putting you in the draw to win potentially a $50 e-gift card um, each week. So I think that is really cool. So if you are going to buy an SSD or a RAM or something like that, maybe check out the Crucial stuff because I see a lot of promotions going on at the moment and you might also win a prize on top of that. So GG Crucial. 
Alrighty, so the drive is installed. We've done a fresh install of Windows. We have ran all the benchmarks and it's time now to share with you those results. Now, before I do that, I just wanted to also show you this storage executive software from Crucial because once I downloaded it, it actually uh, gave me a notification to say there was new firmware for the drive and I did apply that firmware before running all of the benchmarks. But this piece of software from Crucial was actually quite useful. So as you can see here, we've got two drives. I do have a two terabyte NVMe drive for storage, which is not really full or being used at all. It's kind of just there in the system. And then we've got down below here, the 500 gig P3 plus drive from Crucial. And you can see the current temperatures, 43 degrees Celsius and the capacity, we filled about 15% of it. So that's a really nice little thing there. And then you can go ahead and click into smart and you can check it different things about the drive if you want to go ahead and check it, which might be helpful if you're you know, planning on maybe reselling the drive later on to give that person a bit of confidence about the drive. So moving on, crystal disk uh, info. Again, you can see how many total reads and writes we've done during the benchmark process. You can see it's detected it as a PCIe Gen 4 drive in a Gen 4 slot or a four times slot. Um, NVMe, NVM Express 1.4 there. And you've got all this other information about the drive and the, again, the temperature. Now, going into the first benchmark, you can see here Crystal Disk Mark Performance actually exceeding what they're advertising on the website, which is awesome. So we got 48, 23 megabytes a second. Uh, so that's, you know, beating their advertised read by about 100 megabytes. They were advertising 4,700. And the writes, we got 1960, which is basically bang on what they were advertising on their own website. Um, random 4K, 64 on the read, 262 on the write. Um, and I mean, you can see those numbers for yourself. Very, very impressive results though, in my opinion, on the reads and writes for this drive, considering there is no DRAM cache on this drive, I think it is very, very impressive. Then moving on to Atto. So Atto is another disk benchmark. Just it's good to have another t uh, piece of software to compare to make sure your results are consistent. And as you can see here, the reads and writes all the way down to basically 32, or sorry, not 32, 16 kilobytes. We're getting 1.78 gigabytes a second on the read, 1.4s on the write, so pretty even. Um, and then, you know, as we go up, we start to see a bit of a, a bandwidth limitation. And if we look at IO, you can see the reads and writes on the IO as well. So that's just really talking about, you know, how much the drive can actually handle um, when you're throwing a lot of data at it. So in terms of performance, the drive has done very, very well. Moving on again to one of the tests, which you know some people use it, some people don't. I actually really like it because it does give you some real world scenarios. So 3D Mark is a really good test to give you an idea of like, you know, how the drive will perform when you're loading up games, maybe copying your Steam folder to a different drive. So the score that we got here was 1798. The average is 2075. Best is 13694. My personal best on a Gen 4 drive with a good cache, a good controller was actually from Crucial, a P5 Plus, and that drive got about 3000 100 points. If you want to know more about that drive, I'll leave a link to it up in the corner. But 1798, I think is a very respectable score. You can see the total bandwidth that used, you know, when we're loading up a bunch of games and it never actually got to the limit of what this drive is actually capable of doing. So in terms of like, will this be a good drive for just those of you who are wanting to load up big games like Battlefield or Call of Duty, which have huge maps and you not have to worrying about um, any glitching or any you know textures not loading because of the drive being too slow. Um, you can see that this SSD is not gonna give you any issues at all. So that was 3D Mark. And then the last one that we ran was the PC Mark test, which I am trying to find out where it is. Okay, so PC Mark, I mean, this is really relative of the entire PC. So your score may, you know, be a little bit different, but overall this drive didn't, I guess, limit or hinder the PC's performance at all. So the total score we got was 11,555. 
productivity and digital content creation, 10,000 and 15,000, and essentials of 10,595. So again, across a bunch of different tasks, you know, opening up applications, doing some content creation, uh, video conferencing, photo editing, it actually performed really, really well. And if you wanna know more about these scores, you can go to the 3D Mark or the PC Mark website where they have all the technical information about the actual tests and what they all mean and what all the numbers mean if you want to really get into the nitty gritty. Alrighty guys, so tell me what you think of the Crucial P3 Plus. The 500 gigabyte goes for $89 here in Australia and I think it's perfectly suited towards those of you who are maybe doing a entry level PC build or mid-range gaming PC and you don't need a ton of SSD space because you've only got to put maybe three, four, five games which won't take up 500 gigabytes of storage or the 400 gigabytes you have left after you install Windows and all of your software because as well, you've got to consider that you might already have an existing hard drive, maybe a two terabyte or four terabyte drive, which has your game library on it. So really your SSD is going to be there for fast boot ups, launching applications, you know, content creation, if that's your thing as well, maybe, you know, launching a game like Modern Warfare or Battlefield, games that have huge textures, huge libraries, maybe like Spider-Man, that's another good one. And you really don't want to have any I guess stuttering or hitching as you're playing the game, this kind of SSD drive is really geared towards that. So that's my personal opinion. Would I buy the drive or put it in one that I'm planning on building? 100% yes, because having that Gen 4 speed, especially on the reads, is a huge advantage over those Gen 3 drives. And I mean, still two gigabytes a second on the right is nothing to scoff at. So if you're doing quick, bursty, you know, folder transfers, copy and pastes, maybe a movie, uh, a movie library or a game here or there, I think this drive performs really, really well. So that's what I think. I think Crucial's done a really good job as well. I mean, the drive doesn't get too hot. The software that they include, the Acronis software, the temperature monitoring, the smart monitoring, all having it in one package from Crucial is really nice as well. So that's what I think. Good job, Crucial, and be sure to check out the giveaway that Crucial is doing on their website. Link to it down in the video description. And you know, make sure you buy one of their eligible products. Or oh, sorry, don't I don't want to say make sure to buy. If you are going to buy, make sure to enter that competition so you go in the running to win one of those prizes or maybe a gift card if you're lucky enough to do so. So Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. Appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Thanks to Crucial for sending over the drive for review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.